Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Shook. I'm a board certified chiropractic physician in Hickory, North Carolina. And today I want to talk to you about carpal tunnel syndrome and in particular, what is carpal tunnel syndrome? So carpal tunnel syndrome is when, if we look at the hand, um, when you have compression of a nerve that runs through the hand here and that feeds basically these three fingers and the inside of this one. Okay, so it feeds these. Um, carpal tunnel is there, there's actually an anatomical, so if we talk about the anatomy, there's a, a pathway through which the nerves that are in your arm go into the wrist and go into the hand. And there's a ligament that crosses the wrist here called the carpal ligament. And the nerves and vessels and all the ligaments that run to your fingers go underneath that ligament. And that makes a tunnel. Okay, so what can happen is, is either through repetitive use, which we see a lot, just using the hands a lot, um, it can it can actually be damaged, and it can it can um, you can develop scar tissue in here, and you can have compression of that nerve that causes damage uh, and nerve pain into the hand. One of the most common things when you see advanced carpal tunnel is you'll see that the muscle here in the, the palm of the hand that's at the thumb will actually be very, very weak and thin. So I've seen advanced cases of carpal tunnel and you can literally, it's almost like the muscle's gone, like it's just kind of uh, wasted away. And what happens is when the nerve's compressed, all the muscles of the hand that are fed by that nerve will atrophy, get smaller and weaken. So with repetitive use is one of the most common reasons that we see carpal tunnel develop. You can damage the nerve and it can create problems into the hand. Now, you can also have compression of the, the nerves that leave the neck because think about this for a second. How do the nerves get to the hand? Well, they start here in the neck and they run all the way through the arm down into the hand. So you can actually have something called double crush syndrome where you have compression of the nerves in the neck, you can have compression through the shoulder, at the elbow, at the forearm, and the hand. There's five different different compression points. And quite often when we see carpal tunnel, there tend to be more than one. There tends to be compression here, also in the forearm because the person does repetitive use work. So they're constantly working these muscles and they've had, they have entrapment here, sometimes even at the elbow, sometimes they have a neck problem too. So you have to treat the entire neurological chain. So where the nerves start here and run all the way through into the hand. So there's a lot of different ways that we got to approach carpal tunnel. First of all, we have to do an examination to figure out <clears throat> where is it being compressed, what's the cause. Uh, the second thing that we have to do is once we have that information, we have to put together a plan to address those problems. And usually what we're going to use is a combination of soft tissue work, uh, depending on where the problem is, right? So if it's in the neck that we have compression here and then we have we have compression in the wrist, then we're going to do spinal decompression therapy, which is a non-surgical therapy to, to help take pressure off of the nerve in the neck. We're also going to work on the wrist with laser therapy. We probably use laser therapy here in the wrist, non-surgical, non-burning laser. It's, it's designed to decrease pain, increase uh, circulation, accelerate healing. It's been shown to be very beneficial for, for nerves and help with something called nerve growth factor. So it helps with the recovery of the nerve. We would use that here. We would also use some soft tissue work of the wrist. I'll actually do some things by hand to, to stretch and open this up a bit more. We do those things in, in combination. So we just determine the problem, then we apply the appropriate therapies, and we see how your body responds. Typically what we'll do with carpal tunnel is, as with most of the, the problems and conditions we work with, is we will we will uh, prescribe a two-week trial of care, usually three to four days per week. We have to do it with that kind of frequency to evaluate whether or not it's going to be a valid and uh, beneficial form of therapy. If you don't have any response, then we could consider changing our approach if there are some other things that we could do. <clears throat> if you know, if you if you uh, don't respond, we have to decide what you know what the next step is. Uh, can we change our approach? Do another two-week trial of a different a different therapeutic approach or you know, is it is it time to you know go to a referral to a surgeon potentially? And you know, the thing is, is you know, I don't I don't like you know in certain cases, yeah, that surgery is definitely the only way to help carpal tunnel. But I don't like for people to to have surgery without going through some type of therapy first to see if we can benefit you because I've seen people that have had that have had bilateral. So they have listen. Anytime you have carpal tunnel in the right and left wrists, it's rare that it's from the carpal tunnel itself. You've got to look, if both of the hands, if you have carpal tunnel in both of the wrists, where's the common connection point here, right? It's the neck, guys. It's the neck. The nerves leave the neck and go into the arms and the hands. Do you know how many times I've taken x-rays of people 
x-rays and they have so much degeneration of their spine that the bones are setting together compressing the nerves on the right and left side that go into the arms and hands so what's going to happen you're going to have pain through the nerves in both hands and guess what it can manifest and you can make you think you have carpal tunnel listen that you, you know you've I highly recommend you have a conservative approach first. And we use laser therapy. We use soft tissue work. Uh, we even use decompression therapy, which is all is non-surgical, all is gentle. We use peripheral nerve rehabilitation therapy. It's a type of electrical therapy, and don't let that scare you. It's um, it's it's not painful at all. It stimulates the nerve to help the nerve recover and heal. So we want to try that for at least, you know, I try to get people, if you can do four days per week for two weeks, that's going to be ideal. If you can't, then you might need to go a little bit longer, but you've got to get, you know, you've got to get the right dose, right? Does that make sense? Just like a medication with a therapeutic approach to see if it's going to work, you've got to get a high enough dose. So that means you've got to go with enough frequency. So what we do is typically a two-week trial. If you're making progress, another two weeks. If you're making progress, another two weeks until we get you to maximum improvement. I mean, that's, that's how it works, right? And if you can avoid if you can avoid injections and surgery it's well worth it and and it will it will help you to to recover naturally so anyway i hope this better helps you understand carpal tunnel some of the problems and things that we've got to consider if you'd like for me to take a look at your carpal tunnel please don't hesitate to give us a call i'll be happy to give you my opinion our phone number is 828-324-0800 you can also find us at hickoryspine.com if you'd like to learn more about our practice and what we do but i hope this helps you to better understand carpal tunnel hope you have a great day thanks